What have you done? Uh, huh? Turning you see Kenna on the ground. No. No! This please not this! Get ready. The Rocky soldiers! We're surrounded! This channel is not intended for children. Please monitor what your kids watch online. Are you ready? Are you ready for today's video? I yes, I know. Second. Again, I know it's always the same. Anyways, hola mis amores. This is Kirby Marie here and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to the Crown and the Flame book 2. Oh, yeah! Um, yeah, I know not a lot of people will be excited for this, but whatever. Anyways, before I begin as usual, would appreciate if you guys would subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to get notified about the latest videos, also drop me the like button, it helps out a lot, and if, leave your comments and your thoughts on this video or anything in general. So last episode where we left off, uh, we started a story, we started the continuation of the first Crown of the Flame, which I already made a little explanation, but if you have not watched the series in general, go watch that first or you'll be super lost in what's going on in here. Um... And the, the last time we were starting a new war, we were fighting one of uh, Luther Nevraki's family members named Vasilios. We had one of the castles held called Thorngate, and we met a new character. Uh, I forgot her name, <laughs> but she used to be part uh, of, of that army at first. Um, but when Kenna finally convinced her to join her army because they're actually trying to liberate them and whatsoever, then she decided to join as well. Um, I think her name was Rowan. And so, yeah, uh, that's pretty much what has happened so far. Oh yeah, and Dom and Say used their powers, but I think Dom is already exceeding his powers. Like Say has been warning him to not use these type of powers because this is something that he needed to learn as a child. And he's learning it now as an adult. Yikes. Oh yeah, I don't know. Hopefully things don't get any worse. Or probably will. I don't know. But yeah, that's about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Without further ado, let's just jump right in. Alright. Chapter 2, The Burning of Thorngate. With Thorngate's castle burning, Kenna's hope for an alliance may be going up in smoke. Let's get to it already. Now playing as Kenna, with the battle for Thorngate over, you reunite with Leon back at the camp. Well, that could have gone a lot worse. Wow. Goodness, Leon, you're going to make me blush with all of these kind words. words. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I meant to say, well done, Kenna. Battle is never easy, but you should be proud of what you did today. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just glad we could give Thorngate its freedom. It's a noble thing to be sure. No one should ever have to bow to Nevraki scum. <laughs> That said, we need to talk about this alliance. What about it? For starters, are you really going to make that archer woman the queen of Thorngate? Funny, I was curious about that myself. Rowan strides into the tent, giving Leon an appraising look before turning to you. Oh, I nearly forgot. He retrieved Rowan's Thorngate's longbow from beside the table and handed it to her. Now that the battle's over, I wanted to return this to you. He wielded well for an outsider. Still, I'm glad to have it back. But this isn't why I'm here. I came here to discuss the terms of your, our alliance, but I see you started without me. Perhaps you don't want a mere archer woman's input. Duh. I'm sorry, Rowan. Leon... I'm sorry, Rowan. Leon should apologize. Well... Apologize. Mm -hmm. Apologies, Lady Thorn. Don't apologize. Explain to me why don't I think I should rule Thorngate. That's not what I said. You should rule Thorn you should rule Thorngate, but not as queen. The queen should be Kenna. Yeah. And why would be what? Her advisor? Advisor, general, duchess, or damn high priestess, I don't care, so as long as we have one person making the ultimate decisions. Kenna, imagine if you had control over all Thorngate forces. Spring will be here in a few months and with the melting of the sea, Luther's Armada will be coming. Don't remind me. If you want to win this war, you don't have time for discussions and second guessing. You need to be in charge. Thorngate owes your great debt, Kenna, but we never asked to be part of your way. We will help you, but let us do it in our own terms. We deserve to rule ourselves. You both make good points. What kind of ruler do you want to be? Okay. 
I guess I will make look Rowan became good in the end, so whatever. And it's her place, so <laughs> Rowan reaches forward to clasp both of your hands. Thorngate will never forget this. I'll never forget this. My kingdom is battered. It will take time to rebuild. But we be will become for your first fiercest ally allies. Thank you, Queen Kenna. You're what we are welcome, Queen Rowan. Yay! This means everything to me. Rowan gives you a hand and a final squeeze before walking out of the tent. Very sweet, mark my words. You won't be half so pleasant when you're asking nicely for reinforcements or begging for it. SHUT Leah, UP! Leah, I know this isn't the easiest part. None of this is easy. But I won't be like Luther. I won't crush kingdoms beneath my boots just to fit my own ambitions. What's the point of fighting tyranny if we become tyrants ourselves? There must be another way. I hope you're right, Kenna. I hope to all the gods you're right. But now, there are other matters that we still need dealing with. You and the clo and you and those closest to Kenna watch as Vasilio is roasted from his chambers by Kenna's soldiers. I'm going to enjoy this. Me too. Wow. <laughs> Unhand me, you oversized Grintons! Vasilio's Narakis, you are beaten. <laughs> oh, you may want this battle, but that pittance compared to the coming war. My brother Luther will be here soon enough. And when he returns, he'll restore Abantus, take back Thorngate and Stormhole, and make mince me out of you, just like he did with your family. He produces a fi you produce a fireball in your hand. Say that again. And what a brash young lion you are! You really think fire's going to face me? I just set this whole place ablaze, boy! What did you mean, he'll be here soon enough? When does Luther return? Oh dear, the cat's out now, isn't he? Well, that's all you'll get from me, darling. Can of Reese of Stormhall, if you want to learn more from his disgusting thing, here's your answer. She holds up a glass jar. The thick liquid inside glows a bright blue. From Vasilio's private collection, it is known among my people as Blue Blood, a potion used during interrogations. Please, I've told you all I know, I swear it. I put my finest cast of Ravenfrost wine. What do you think, Dom? We could learn more about Luther's plans. Want to use it on him? I say, we give Vasilios the, po the potion. Let's find out what this pamper baby really knows. <laughs> Can our soldiers bring the potion and over and force Vasilios to drink it? Yeah! Dom, go ahead. You stand up and sit Vasilios who sleepily grins with blue stain lips. I, Vasilios and Rakis have a stomach condition that makes me particularly gassy. Wow! That's not anything we want to... My servants here call me the wind of Thorngate behind my back. Well, probably not too close behind my back. This is disturbingly off topic. When does Luther return? Luther? When I found out he would be here to Lico's and not me, I snuck into his room and stuffed his crown down my trousers. I am disgusting. About me is so disgusting. True, so true. And yet I'm the lead, least detestable of Nevraki's family. You've met my British brother Luther and poor Insip Marco, but you haven't met the rest of the family. Where are the rest of the Nevraki's family members? Well, now everyone knows that Luther took most of the family with him. Baltir, Sioras, Diabolos, all of his favorites. Tell me more about Balt Baltir, Sioras, and Diabolos. Such delightful children when they were young. Baltir loved raspberry custard. Sioras has the sweetest font smile. Bruh. I mean about them now. Baltir is brute, Sierra is a master strategist, and Diavolos is his father's shadow. The only one of his favorites that didn't go off with him is the girl. Uh? Vasilio shivers. Zenobia, they say the devil who smiles at you is the one to fear most. Pray you never meet her. We're not afraid of Luther or any of his kings. <laughs> that little queen is your mistake. The potion won't last much longer. You move closer to Vasilio's. Now that you're feeling like talking back to most important questions, when does Luther return? Before the next solstice, and I can't wait for the moment it does. It'll be fun torturing all of you. The next solstice? That's six weeks away. What happens to Luther Wally until stormy season is over? Have you met my brother? He's not the type to let treacherous seas stand in his way. That means we have just six weeks to liberate the remaining kingdoms of Abantus, or Luther will surely kill us all. Don't forget about my torturing you. That's the real trade. 
guards put him in the dungeons with the rest of his pathetic army. The dungeons? No! I'd rather have burned with the castle than live in suffering! Do I look like a man suited for the dungeons? Do I look like a woman who cares? The guards move to escort Vasilis away, but he pushes one of them aside, lunging at Kana with a hidden dagger. Yeah! Oh! Kana, no! He rushed forward, summoning a fireball and flinging it at Vasilio. He burst into flames, falling in heap. You loom over his dead, charred body, anger boiling in you. You'll never hurt Kana! Dum! What have you done? Huh? Turning, you see Kana on the ground. No. No! This. Please, not this! Wait, he. He burned Kana? <gasps> Smoke rises from the many burns that mark Kenna's body. You fall to your knees, unable to believe what you're seeing. Kenna! Kenna, say something, please! You're dimly aware of the people moving around you, pulling you away, but you can only stare at Kenna, who remains terribly still. Kenna! Yikes. Damn, that went a little bit. Chapter 3 The Shipbuilders King Luther is sailing back from the Iron Empire, Ken accelerates her campaign while Dom embarks on a journey of his own. What? what? Slowly your eyes open. Lying on a cot in your command tent, you try to move, but... Ah! Careful now, Kenna! Oh, Kenna, you've been badly burned! You need to rest! I can't quite remember. Vasilios, Dom, what happened? Dom Blast caught you! It was bad. Oh my god. Oh bad. Well, we we didn't think you were going to make it that bad. Yikes. But you're strong and you're here now. I guess that's something. I'll go get Dom. He'll want to see you. Wait, luck and Annalise leave. A few moments later, Dom enters seeing you. His face falls as he, and he drops to his knees beside you. Kana, I'm sorry. I'll never forgive myself for this. You don't need to apologize. You saved my life. If it weren't for you, Vasilis would still slit my throat. I can't believe I let that oaf get the drop on me. Would you rather I died at, this ha at his hands? <clears throat> no, of course not. You look so broken, lying there that day. I, I couldn't bear it. You've been my friend since we were kids. You show me kindness when no one else would. And suddenly you were gone. I, I, I had to face the idea of a world without you. One where I was responsible. Dom. If I had better control, this wouldn't have happened. You're doing the best you can. You're learning. Say, say, try to warn me that I needed more training. But I didn't listen to her. It was reckless and you paid the price for it. I'm making sure that will never happen again. What are you saying? I'm leaving, Kenna. I'm going with Say to train in the Black Spine Mountains. Her people are there. You're leaving? Her people can teach me. At least I hope they can teach me. To control my power. Dom reaches out to take your hand, but you can't help wincing as he touches your raw burned skin. He looks away and clenches his fist. You see smoke curling off his fingers. I have to do this. For the five kingdoms. For you. Dom. I love you. I love you too, Kana. That's why I had to go. He leaned forward to kiss Dom. He very gently brings his lips to yours. Did that hurt? A little, but it was worth it. I'll be back as soon as I can, I promise. Goodbye, Kenna. Goodbye. As Dom opens the tent flap, you leave, you see Say standing outside. Say, a word? She steps inside as Dom leaves. You know about Dom's plans then? I do. I accidentally read the wrong voice line. I have just one thing to tell you. Huh. Watch his back. I'll try to bring it back on damage, but I promise nothing. The road is treacherous. Say so turns and exits the tent, leaving you feeling distinctly uneasy. <coughs> the next day, still in pain, you meet with Leon, Annalise, Raiden, Rowan, and Whitlock. <laughs> so when it's fearsome as you need to need to rush the healing process, my lady, we know you are tough. You should be resting. Besides, why pass up the opportunity to be taken care of all day? Because we can't afford that luxury, not with the return coming much sooner than we expected. <coughs> Still can't believe he's willing to risk his fleet in the stormy season. He must have learned our movements against him. So what's your plan then, Canaries? I'm assuming you have one. 
The plan has always been to free the five kingdoms and take the fight across the sea to Luther before he can return. That plan hasn't changed. Now we just have to do it in six weeks. <coughs> At least Vasilius was good for something. We do know that Luther's fleet is mostly transport ships. That means they're not great in battle. If you catch him on the water, his soldiers won't be able to deploy and we'll have to take the advantage. Yes! And we need every advantage we can get, considering how much larger his army is. We can't let him reach land at Lycos and deploy his troops. Then we'll take it before he returns. We'll amass a naval force first, then take control of Lycos. At the same time, we'll develop anti-ship weaponry for the battle to come. I've got some ideas on how to disable Luther's ship. I won't make weapons, but I will come up with something that can neutralize them. Nice. I understand. Your brilliance is always appreciated, Whitlock. There is a shipyard in Ulriel, the sea ta seaside town near Panriel. That's where most of Luther's ships came from. So if we can take our Ulriel, we must get shipbuilders to help us. And you expect the people of Ulriel to do just your bidding after you storm in, sword strong? A direct assault isn't the best way to make allies, Kenna. <coughs> I agree with Divine One. I have spies in Ulriel. Rumor has that many respected members of the community are plotting a rebellion. If we can get one of their meetings, we may be able to convince them to join forces. We we help them fight, they give us ship. Sounds like a fair trade to me. Yeah. You could send a small team traveling in secret and with no identifying marks to infiltrate and... No, I'll speak with them myself. Kenna, I do not wish to offend, but this is not your arena. We'll have to smuggle you into the city. One wrong word and one slip up and it will be your throat getting cut. Yikes. I'm up for the challenge. Tell me what I need to do. I sense that you have refused to bend on this matter. Yeah. Your senses are as accurate as ever. Very well then, a disguise will help. I know time is short, but if you can dress in something less royal, if you can make our task easier and help get the people of Elviel to trust you. A short time later. Wow. How about this? Perfect, you make an absolutely stunning peasant, you know? Thank you, let's hope I also make a convincing one. Shall we embark on our journey to Alveal? Wait, I'm going to come with you. Are you sure? The dangers are nothing worse than I face every day living under Vasilios. Let me assure you. Besides, if I'm there, I can speak for Thorngate. <coughs> it's settled then. We'll set off as soon as our things are packed. There's just one other thing. It's Val. What about her? Wait, where is she? She's been holed up in the woods since, well, since you got burned. What? Why wasn't I told? You should be resting as it is. We knew once we told you, you want to run off to see her. And it's a little complicated. She did not exactly leave on good terms with Dominique. Yikes. We've sent soldiers out for after her. She won't talk to anyone. Sometimes she gets like this. If you ask me, it seems like she just needs the right person to talk to her. Okay, let's go after Val. You leave the castle and search through the woods of around Thorngate for Val. This is around where Leon said she was. Val! Are you out there? Can you hear me? I think just about everyone in the Fire Kingdoms can hear you. <laughs> You're a f you hear a rustling in the trees above you. A second later, Val drops on in front of you. There you are. Yeah, here I am. Why are you all dressed? Why are you dressed all goofy? <laughs> it's a long story. Then I don't want to know. Anyway, what are you doing here? Val, I was worried about you. You were? Of course. Leon said you disappear out here after the battle. I was just surprised to hear that you got so upset. You didn't react this way after Stormhold. <coughs> that was different. Different? How? Let me put it this way. When you're a mercenary spending time with brutes like Severin, it's easy not to care about the guys next to you. If they live, if they died, it was all just another day's work. All for the coin, right? Right. When you're in the middle of battle, you can't be thinking about someone else's neck. You just got to look out for your own. You can't get attached. You can't care. But when I saw you lying there on the castle stones all burned off and lifeless, well, first, I damn near killed your pretty boyfriend for roasting you. You attacked Dom? I would have paid to see that. Hey, I'm up for a rematch any time. That's when I left. And while I've been out here, I realized as much as I tell myself I'm just here for my payout when all of this is over, 
It's not true. Not anymore. You're not just some dumb royal I'm scheming to make coin off. Oh, Val. Shut up! I'm trying to say something. I'm trying to, you know, care about all these people. About you, most of all. Val, you're my friend. Alright, alright. That's enough of these feeling stuff. Val quickly pulls out a knife and holds it into her palm. Whoa, what are you doing? Queen Kana, I, Val Graves, herely pledge myself to you. You're going to cut yourself, are you? It's blood, Oath Kana. Blood is required. I'm gonna let her do it if she wants to. Val cuts across her palm and holds her fist in front of her, the blood trickling down into the earth. I am sworn to you now, Kana. You are ready to win this war? Ready. Kana, I follow you into the three hells and back if I needed to. Good, because the way things are going, that just might be our next stop. Now playing as Dom, you and Say have made camp for the evening in the forest as you gather wood for a fire. Say returns from hunting and plunks a skinned rabbit into your hands. Dinner. Cook it. Wow. I'm starting the fire now. <coughs> You're gathering wood to start a fire? You are the fire. Cook the meat. Consider this your next test. Are you just saying this because you're hungry and you don't want to wait? Cook the rabbit, Lowlander, if you can. You hold up the rabbit. Cook the rabbit. You slowly roast the rabbit, the meat sizzling in your hands. You and Say take turns eating the perfectly cooked meat. Mm, not bad. I knew it. Food is the only thing that makes you smile. <laughs> It's not just the rabbit. Your training is coming along, and I know I'm not always the best teacher. You, once we reach the Black Spine Mountains, you'll learn from a true master, my grandfather. Your grandfather? Is he like you, or is he, you know, nice? <laughs> your jokes are unappreciated, Lowlander. Who's joking? You'll meet him soon enough. We're only a day from my village. In the silence that follows it, you can't help your thoughts from drifting to Kiana. Say reaches into her pack, pulling out a bottle that glows red. I know you blame yourself for what happened, but if you can't get over it, your training will suffer. Is that some kind of forgetting potion? It's alcohol, so yes. Drink with me now and forget your troubles, Lolanda. Wait, are you actually trying to comfort me? I'm offering you a drink. Don't make me regret it. Nah, but I don't want to. I'm beat. We should get some rest before tomorrow. Quiet! I heard something. A second later, you hear a clanking sound. That sounds like... Um... Uh-oh. As you and Say leap up to defend yourself, four armed Iraqi soldiers charge out of the forest toward you. Prepare to die! Ah! Say's hands ignite into his flaming whips as she lashes two of the charging soldiers. Ah! Ah! You see their armor melting as they're burned from the inside. You, try you turn to the third soldier, spotting him as he swings a sword at you. Make sure you jump back. You dodge his sword as he cuts the air in front of you. You summon your strength and blast him with a fireball. Yeah! You turn to see the last soldier smack Say across the face. Get it. Oh! I need to fireball the soldier. Get away from her! Yeah! You're learning, Lowlander. You and Say stand the air amid the ashes panting for a moment after the smoke clears. What were the Iraqi soldiers doing here in the Black Spy Mountains? This wasn't a scouting group. Their armor's all wrong for that. These were foot soldiers. They never should have been this close to my village. My people, Dom, we must hurry. Now playing as Kenna, for several days, your group travels across open grasslands towards al -Riel. I see smoke on the horizon. Hell, is that br a brush fire? One of those nearly wiped out camp a few summers ago? The tent stanks of smoke for weeks. No, it's Pan Panrion, the city neighboring Al Riel. Last time I was there, the smoke was so thick you could taste it. Panrion was once a thriving city, known for its beauty. Until that iron hearted skull of Florian Tortosis got his hands on it. Yikes. Who's Florian Tortosis? The ruler of this land, but I hear Al Riel's been his new pet project for the past few months. The shipbuilders in El Real are re-owned for their crap, but apparently their production speed wasn't up to his standards. I want to know more about this Florian. How he ruled to come this land? How he ruled this land? He's an expert on industry and trade. His book on the subject are quite good, if somewhat detached. 
Since this realm has always been the most industry focus of the five kingdoms, Florian was the obvious choice. Well, obvious to someone like Luther, <coughs> production has increased tenfold under Florian's rule, but the living conditions are, well, like the fesses of a dog. Oh my god. Lovely. I can't wait to meet him. That's the last thing we want to do. If this man's half as smart as Raiden seems to think, you shouldn't be going anywhere near him. Agreed. The next few days are going to be dangerous. If we're discovered, we won't be able to fight our way out. Yikes. Why do I feel like I should be preparing for the worst? Later that day, you arrive at the seaside town of Alriel. Walking into the center of town, you come across a large crowd of people filling the street. This is Alriel? Men and women mingle, laugh, and dance to the music of a drummer and piper sitting on the front steps of a tavern. Everyone's so festive. What's going on? What, you thought they'd be lying in the streets sobbing? Even under harsh rulers, life goes on? I admit to being surprised as well. Perhaps Florian's authorism has been exaggerated. Either way, I need to drink and rest my feet. Find me in the tavern when you're done gawking. Rowan pushes her way through the crowd toward a small tavern. A drink sounds good to me. It's been a while since I... <coughs> a short, muscular woman stumbles out of the crowd running into Val. Hey, it's Abby from The Last of Us! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Oops, sorry miss. Hope oh, I didn't hurt ya. I'm Kailani and you are... Err, uh, I'm Val. A well-muscled man emerges from the crowd to stand next to Kailani who glares up at him. Lord, you big bloody oaf! You threw me right into poor Val! Not my fault, you're easy to throw, Kai. Bruh. Kailani turns back to you, her eyes flickering from one member of your group to the next. Her eyes lend you scrutinizing clothes. Well, aren't you just as cute as a little baby seal? Isn't she a cutie, Noah? <laughs> Please ignore my little sister. She talks too much. Little? I'm 13 minutes older than you, blubber brain. So what brings you all to your dingy little town? To our little dingy little town? We're here to... Uh... What do I say? See your famous shipyards? I've heard that all real shipbuilders are the best in the world. I just have to come to see for myself. Oh, that's a new one. Can't say we got a lot of sightseers in this dump. Hope you're not too disappointed. Anyway, sorry about knocking into you like that. Meet us at the tavern later. First round's on me. Thank you. The musicians strike up a lively tune and space opens in the center of the crowd for dancing. Excuse us. Come on, Noah, and try not to lob me into anything this time, yeah? Kailani drags Noah back into the crowd. They seem suspicious of us, but overall... Screw the reporting, it looks like they're having fun and I want in. Who's with me? Are you asking me to dance? Well, we are trying to blend in. Fine, you can lock can go fine, you lock and go cover with the logos if you please. I'll be over there trying to make sense of all this. Bruh. What do you want to do, Kana? I stands with Val. Val leads you towards the band Grindley Wiley. She spins and leaps, her wild movements blending perfectly with the rest of the crowd. Come on, didn't they ever teach you to dance in that castle? Not like this. They didn't. I'll trip over my own feet. Nah, it's easy. Here, start like this. T taking your hands, Val leads you skipping and laughing in a wild jig. When I say go, you're going to step, step, skip, twirl, jump. Step, step, skip, twirl, jump. I hope that's it. Wait, how many steps? Go! Uh. Step, step, skip. You follow the steps flawlessly, ending in a twirl and a jump. Yes! Wow! Val catches you in mid-air, holding you all up as she spins you around, and she sets you down again, but doesn't let go. <laughs> You're a natural. If you've, if you've grown up in town, I've been falling all over myself to dance with you at Midsummer's Eve. You suddenly realize that Val's face is only inches from your own. She smiles, her breath quickened by excession of dancing. Copper from your thoughts, Majesty. Oh, she likes... Va she, Val likes can I Wow. I, I think I want to sit down for a minute. I don't think my legs have ever been this tired. Sometimes I forget you grew up all pamper. Girls back home could dance all night without breaking a sweat. Well, this girl needs a breather before she tries anything like that again. Angry shouts split revenging ears. The releases freeze mid-dance and the music comes to a halt. Trouble. We need to find the others. They regroup near the door of the tavern, craning to see over the head of the thick crowd. Rowan comes to join you. What is it? I can't see anything. What about you, tree woman? Listen. You listen, and hear the loud clanking of armor coming in from every direction. 
scores of hulking figures in black armor fill the street, their weapons at ready. The Vraki soldiers were surrounded. Well, anyways, as much as I would like to continue this episode, I'm definitely going to be ending it here. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you really did enjoy it, drop me the like button. It helps out a lot. If you're not subscribed to the channel, we would appreciate it if you do. Also, leave your comments and your thoughts on this video or anything in general. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!